Hi, welcome to Seattle. This is Mike McGinn, Mayor of Seattle, and me and Clarence Eckerson are going to bike downtown from my house in the neighborhood of Greenwood to uh, City Hall. It's about a six and a half mile bike ride, and I usually bike in every morning. In Seattle, I ran as a populist, and, and, and in Seattle, that means you ride a bicycle. These are collector's items now. These are the Mike Bike stickers. This is our first set of our early collateral. So, you know, I started bike commuting for oh, a bunch of different reasons, but ultimately I bike now because I like it. So, I guess maybe as more people like biking, it's more likely you'll find more mayors like it too. You know, there's a lot of public support for the livable streets. And in fact, when I was running my nonprofit, Great City, I started a campaign we called Streets for People, which was kind of really borrowing a lot from the New York streets renaissance. And, uh, you know, trying to figure out how could we bring together all the different advocates for more livable streets. Yeah, doing a good job. Stopping at a red light, of course. Because people on the West Coast are really good about that. <laughs> Most of the time. If you're a biker, a problem is that these lights will change for you um, because they'll only turn green if there's a car here. So they mark on the ground the T where you should put your bike wheel if you want to trigger the light. That's for schools! That's fun. No, I, I, I went down and helped fundraise for the school levy and helped kick it off and I've been publicizing it on my Facebook page. We did a few things right when they designed City Hall. One was a lot of bike parking. And the other thing is that there are showers in City Hall. And there's also a locker that has tools in it so that if you need to do some bike repairs here, there's tools for shared use. Mainly in this section of the garage, it's, it's handicapped parking or short-term visitor parking for people coming to City Hall. Um, but even though there's kind of a mucky muck parking back there, which is for the council members, um, but they still have to pay for it on a monthly rate. So no free parking here in City Hall. There's very few bike lanes downtown. So a street like Fifth, you just have to take a lane. And, uh, you know, sometimes we slow the cars down. Other times, the cars slow the bikes down. I'll say this, particularly in Seattle, it's nice to have some direction, because in Seattle, it's pretty hilly. And uh, picking the right streets makes a difference to whether you're going to have a good ride or not. I want to introduce you to somebody. Come over here, Allison. <laughs> then we have to go in. So Allison's my scheduler. And during the campaign, and even in the mayor's office, it's her job to try to make sure we can schedule things so that I can bike between events as much as possible. The hard part is making sure he's never biking downhill and then back uphill again. We try to go to the lowest point first thing in the morning and work our way uphill from there. <laughs> Really tight race. We were outspent about four to one in the in the general election, but uh, my volunteer base carried me through. We started a website called Ideas for Seattle, and it was part of our transition. And so we asked people to give us ideas. We also did town halls, and and we asked uh, our friends to go out and ask questions of people about what was important to work on. And uh, as you notice, Clarence, Ideas for Seattle has a lot of ideas about how to make the city more walkable, more bike friendly, and, and add more transit. So the people of Seattle are really ready to kind of catch up to some other cities about in having great transit and great walking and biking. When I was running my nonprofit, Great City, I, we really loved street films and we publicized them. And on my campaign website, I think we use the street films from the Embarcadero. I passed around to people in town um, the films from Bogota about Ciclovia and, and about their bus rapid transit system there as well. So I think street films is a great resource.